All right, guys, I have just been informed that the statue of General Leclerc is in front here. So we'll take a quick look. And this is like the main square of the old Douala, uh, the administrative part of town. Uh, since the beginning of the 90s, uh, the town has been expanding towards the west and that would be Bonamusadi and towards the northeast and that would be going uh, towards Yaounde. So here you see some artwork that has been done with uh, discarded plastic bottles. You know this can stay in nature for a very very long time and uh, it helps whenever they can collect them and put them to good use so i'm not actually sure oh yeah this is a disposal so that's very good uh, that's the name of the company they're doing good work here so that makes recycling easy so we leave this monument of the french soldier first world war turn around and come towards the post office Oh, I'm not seeing the statue yet, but it's supposed to be somewhere here. So let's keep walking. I was pretty sure I could see it from the king's residence, but somehow it disappeared. Oh, there it is, <laughs> right in front of the post central. Okay, this is a bus stop. I don't know if there's a bus, maybe. Let's cross the road here. So there's an activist called Isama and he's brought down this statue a couple of times. So the city decided to protect it, which is kind of sad because you can see the interior. It's not being cleaned. But before it was, it was open to the public. So Philippe Marie, the uh, old clock, was born in 1902 and he lived until 1947. Uh, he was aged just about 44, 45 years old when he, when he passed on. And uh, he is well known for being a very smart military leader. He was captured during the struggle for the liberation of France and he escaped to England where he picked up the name of Leclerc, which you see down there. Uh, in 1945, the name Leclerc was officially added to his full names. And uh, yeah, in 1947, he died in a plane crash, tragically, in Algeria. And at the time, Algeria was known as uh, French Algeria. Uh, he's notable for being a very smart military commander, like I said and he led the second uh in i believe it's a tank division of the french army and he was commissioned by general de gaulle to lead uh, to come to equatoria french africa and rally troops to join in the fight for the liberation of france which he did uh, very br brilliantly he came to uh, africa Equatoria French Africa at the time and uh, was able to rally substantial forces which uh, marched up you know going through Fort Lamy which is now Jamena I believe and uh, all the way to I believe uh, Tripoli and actually that mural <laughs> shows the, the battles some of the battles in which he was involved you can see Fort Lamy at the bottom left Douala 1940 then he went to Fort Lamy and then he went up to Kufra uh, Kufra I believe there was a battle there in 41 42 yeah that's interesting that's the whole story so yeah his division was the tank division and he it is said that he's the first to have marched onto paris when france was ultimately liberated so that's the story he was an aristocratic french uh, person so came from a, i would say 
family that wasn't struggling but he decided to join the military all right so that's the visit of the monument to um i believe he became a mar marshal field marshal leclerc that's where it stands today uh i believe back in the day it was actually on that plate that you see right there that's where the statue was mounted but after I was able to single-handedly knock it down a couple of times, then they put it on that more substantial base back there. Don't take my word for it, but I think that's how I remember this. And uh, this used to be blue, painted blue. And the statue was bronze, but as you can see, it's been painted, which kind of takes away a bit of, uh, of uh, how can I call it? Of its earlier it just looks it doesn't look like it used to okay quick shot of the surroundings and the king's residence is right there the first world war french monument is right there in front of you in the camera and the king's residence is a bit to the left so it's great they left open this space right here without putting some buildings. You can actually feel the, the wind. Right there on this side is where you have the Atlantic Ocean, just about maybe uh, half a kilometer on this side, or maybe maybe one or two kilometers. Let me just be generous. Out there, you have the Atlantic Ocean. And right now I can feel the wind blowing towards me. All right, this is, uh, these are some of the main touristic attractions here in Douala. This is like a major town square. Okay, let's see the lizards without trying to scare them. Let's see if we can get some shots. They're just basking there. These are not monitor lizards, they are just the common lizards we have here in West Africa. But we call them, like the rainbow one over there, we call it a monitor lizard. If we talk of a monitor lizard, everybody understands that. They're very territorial. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yo! <laughs> Trying to come towards me. Okay. Quick walk this way. Lots of uh, gambling kiosks. It's a ton of this. Today is Sunday, so I don't know if they will, they actually function. Money transfer. Lottery. And this is just a kiosk for Nextel. MTN mobile money, Momo. Okay. So we are pretty much done around here. Right now I'll try to go to Rong Poeng uh, Deido. Yes, I have a little bit of time. And I'll see you guys when I get there. Thanks for watching.